Hey y'all and welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, my name is Emily and we make recovery videos for severe anxiety, agoraphobia, panic disorder, DPDR, and all that. So if you're struggling with that, definitely check out the link in the description to my video and connect with me. I've got a free recovery guide, Facebook group, and some more resources there. But what I want to talk about today is um, kind of the concept of embracing negative emotions. So when you are recovering, I know that a lot of people, myself included for a while there, really did not like, um, you know, did not like feeling the discomfort, obviously feeling the symptoms, obviously feeling the panic, that kind of stuff. But even just kind of like feeling blah, um, you know, having bad days, and this is kind of like a little bit further on in my recovery. In the beginning, every day was a bad day, and I was so focused on telling myself that I wasn't dying in the moment and trying not to go to the emergency room, right? But a little bit later, it was more kind of like I was living my life, um, you know, eventually, like a year into recovery. I was driving again, I was doing all that kind of stuff, but I just felt like crap, you know? Didn't feel good, felt kind of emotionally detached, um, I, I was just kind of like getting by, you know, and one of the hangups that I see people, um, fall into is really wanting to feel good and like chasing a feeling, I would say, all the time, and so when they have those, I just feel blah seasons, I don't even want to say days, it can be weeks, months, right, when you're recovering, but when they have that, they can't accept it. And they're trying to force themselves to feel good. And they're like, why don't I feel good? Why don't I feel good? Um, you know, or they're like, today is going, it has to be a good day. Or it's like, I'm going to go to lunch with my friend. And then it's like, well, I did lunch, but I felt so bad. I didn't feel like myself, you know. I didn't feel happy, you know. I went on this vacation, but I didn't feel any joy. Yes, that's normal, right? That's an, all of that is a very normal part of recovery that pretty much all of you will likely go through. So one of the problems that we face, I would say, talking from my own experience, right, like growing up in America, we are so conditioned for comfort, you know, we really don't know what discomfort is, <laughs> even if, even if like we think we do, when we look at other countries and people's situations, we probably don't, not to that level, right, and we are, yeah, we're so used to comfort, quick fix, right, quick diets, quick everything, instant gratification, um, and that has kind of ruined us in a way, I think, because when you fall into something like the anxiety cycle, one, it's slow, <laughs> it is a very slow recovery process, so definitely has taught me patience, that's for sure, um, and it's up and down, <laughs> and you can experience so much discomfort, and honestly, when it comes to symptoms, the ones that tend to linger are your least favorite, most uncomfortable symptoms, you know, the ones that you really want gone, the ones that you can't accept, the ones that you're like, you know, that one symptom where you're like, if I didn't have this, I would be okay, um, you know, compared to everything else. So embracing negative emotions is honestly key, right? And so there's a fine line between sitting in frustration, sitting in anger, sitting in hopelessness, sitting in depression, um, that's not good. <laughs> we definitely don't want to do that. We don't want to engage with it to the point where we're spiraling over it. But instead, just accepting it. And it's like, hey, all right, I feel, you know, maybe some mild depression or I feel um, just down or blah or disconnected or detached or not myself or not much positivity, <laughs> right? And just telling yourself, but that's okay, you know? It's just a feeling, right? Like, my feelings don't have to control me and dictate everything about my day and my choices and all that kind of stuff. Just because I feel blah doesn't mean that I shouldn't go on vacation, you know? Just because I feel blah doesn't mean that I, you know, need to lay in bed all day. <laughs> These are just emotions. They are indicators, right? Emotions are good indicators, typically. And it's indicating that my body's still recovering, it's still in the anxiety cycle, and that's okay, and I can live my life alongside that emotion. So yeah, we don't want to engage at the point where we're like, um, spiraling over these emotions, 
Um, it is okay to cry and stuff like that sometimes, but don't let 10 minutes become an hour, become a day, become a week, and so forth, right? Feel the feelings, let them be there, set them aside as an indicator. If anything that your body is just in the anxiety cycle, it's recovering and that's okay. And then go on with your day based on your schedule that you've made, you know, not based on how you feel because <laughs> feelings are just not a good way, not a good compass, I'll say. And I know we live in a, a society right now that's very much feel your feelings, affirm your feelings, follow your heart. Worst advice ever, by the way, don't follow your heart. <laughs> um, and yeah, we're just kind of conditioned to that. So when you're recovering, I think that you'll really notice you're looking at things a bit differently. Um, and for now, you know, on the other side of things where I'm at in the moment, feelings are so, I don't want to say irrelevant, but they're just kind of like, they're on the side, you know, everything else is based on what do I need to do? And the feelings are there. So Embracing negative feelings, to kind of recap, <laughs> just means accepting them for what they are, understanding that you don't have to engage with them, but we can let them be there and let them be part of the process, and everything doesn't have to be positive all the time. Like, you don't have to feel good all the time. And nobody feels good all the time, <laughs> even outside the anxiety cycle. So not trying to put so much pressure on yourself to feel good and feel joyous or attached or whatever the feeling that you're looking for is just kind of let that go for now and understand that feelings are going to come naturally whether they're good or bad um, and just know too that everything only lasts for a season right it's all temporary the good and the bad is temporary so keep all that in mind let me know what you think in the comments and um, follow along for the next video